MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell had his iPhone subpoenaed by the January 6th committee, joining Sean Hannity and others in Club Stupid. But wait till you hear how Tom Selleck's slow cousin is trying to prevent this from happening. It's just nuts that when you think of a modern global superpower, you think of a failed one-term president in diapers, his silly hat followers with their even crazier bumper stickers, and a pillow manufacturer gone mad, betting millions on Trump to magically win a match he lost a long, long time ago. They turned in, they turned in their electors. They had more voters than votes in a places where it's against their, it's against their law. You can't turn in, you can't have more voters than votes. You always have more voters than votes because, unfortunately, a lot of people don't vote. One of the things I want to talk to everybody about. One of the things I want to talk to everybody about. I have some hilarious new footage to tech to everybody about. Plus the latest and stupid from Marjorie Taylor Greene, Don Jr., Pope Francis, Alex Jones, and more. It was absolutely pouring MAGA tears this week from Marjorie Taylor Greene getting kicked off Twitter to the total GQP meltdown over President Biden decimating Donald Trump. The white stuff's biggest fan hit Twitter to dump MAGA tears all over the winter storm while failing on so many levels. Don Jr. quote tweeted Randy Quaid saying, He only gets involved in rescuing unvetted Afghans? <sighs> He can't be bothered with rescuing Americans. It's a consistent theme with the Democrats. <laughs> oh, and Mayor Pete was probably still on paternity leave during yet another transportation crisis. <laughs> Naturally, I replied, you're tweeting about America with a felon actor that fled to Canada to claim refugee status. Fact. Trump's hot air ain't enough to melt a highway, and we know he'd just lob paper towels at cars. Diaper Don wouldn't visit a cemetery in the rain, so a snow shovel is about as realistic as his second term. Oh, and while you were playing Cosby with Eric in New York cocktail bars, Pete Buttigieg went to Afghanistan and was awarded the Joint Service Commendation Medal. But we know acknowledging veterans is as challenging for a Trump as using the restroom to take a dump. And they attack me like nothing this world has never seen for platforms. If you were my second grade teacher, you probably got attacked. They came after me. They used, uh, you, on every different thing was different. They used, uh, you, on every different thing was different. Nothing this world has never seen. Every different thing was different. These are Mike's boldest statements since. I think people are surprised seeing, uh, you know, stuff that's just surprising. And that those yes, it was a year ago that we saw participants so dumb that they wore their work ID, posed with Don Jr., and tried to climb a big wall with steps right next to it. I did post some videos about this a year ago, but this was my favorite clip from that day. I got maced. You got maced. By, by the police. <laughs> and what happened? You were trying to go inside yeah, the Capitol? Yeah, I, I made it like a foot inside, and they pushed me out, and they maced me. What's your, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? <laughs> We're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. Thank you. You have all this stuff. Just ask anybody over in uh, Australia if you're not tracked by everything they got or watched every day like Big Brother 1984. So anyway... Yes, the Stoldenator is still pushing the narrative that Australia is an end-of-the-world police state. Australia, if you are getting this message and you're safe, let me know in the comments. Symposium, were state representatives going to the microphone, talking about what they learned, giving their name and where they were from. So some of that you might find... $25 million for this bucket of unicorn wank. Ridiculous. Thanks to my amazing sources, I have a leaked phone call between Alex Jones and Donald Trump discussing Jones dishing the dirt on Trump. Trump. I can't believe you do this when I've supported you over the years, and I think it's time I dish the dirt on you. That would be nasty, Alex. Don't do that. Well, I'm sure my listeners would like to know about the time that you got me to look into finding a secret spy cam to put on Ivanka's nightstand so you could watch You it. wouldn't dare do that, Alex. I know you wouldn't. We've been through a lot together. We've been through a lot. Or what about the time you had to have the cognitive test? Your little mocha 
test and you had me find you a coach to walk you through it, a private coach, because you knew you couldn't do it. Alex, don't do that, Alex. That would be nasty. I got all the footage of you saying man, person, camera, woman, TV in ten different orders and none of them right. None of them. You wouldn't dare. What if I dished the dirt about how I had you over for a barbecue and you made me do your steak extra well done and then you smothered it in ketchup? I think they actually know about the ketchup thing. Oh, I can go deep on you, Mr. Trump. Think about when we had that bath together and we were out of finesse. Because my wife Alex, used it all Alex. and we needed some bubbles. So you went and got a couple straws from Don Jr. And then we just leaned over and we were blowing bubbles into the tub. Two grown men with straws making bubbles in a tub. Making bubbles. Oh yeah, that bath thing. I don't think the people are going to believe you over Trumpy. My pillow C or Mike Lindell's phone records were subpoenaed by House Committee of the Jan- House January 6th Committee. Now, if we're not going to read it all, but um, um, that is true. I want to tell everybody. So Lindell's phone records would be a gold mine of corruption, typos, and crack. This is amazing. They subpoenaed my phone records from last November and December, and I believe the first six or seven days in. January. Because remember, your phones are all tracked. Everything's in there. They can get it anytime. How you doing, Tim Cook? Can you hear me in there? I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Just one of these days, I hope I get through to Mike Lindell's phone so I can pretend it's Tim Cook. What I did is I got lawyers and said, uh, you know, I got nothing to hide for one thing, but they, uh, but I'm going, you know what? And they said, well, it's against the Constitution. It's This is against your rights. So, but we filed a complaint for declaration. De- Declaratory words are hard. Declaratory, declaratory, and injunctive, injunctive relief against the January 6th committee and Verizon to completely invalidate this corrupt subpoena. You know who are they to get my stuff? I mean that's just this. That's bizarre. It's not bizarre that they want your stuff. It is bizarre that a pillow man met with Trump in the White House and then spent over $25 million trying to get a done and dusted election overturned. Are they, gonna, they want your phone records for November, December, and January last year. And I said, oh, really? I said, you lawyers figured out because they didn't get them. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Mike is trying to fight this big time, and he threw lawyers a ton of money to find a loophole. And, well, they did. And no shocker, religious freedom. Yeah, that's the angle they're going for. The suit contends that Lindell's promotions of the fraud claims are motivated in part by strongly held religious beliefs, noting that Lindell has said there is an unspecified scriptural basis for his claims. Enforcement of the subpoena would violate the rights of Mr. Lindell and of his sources to freedom of religion. The suit also claims Lindell enjoys First Amendment protections as a journalist and publisher. While Trumpers embarked on a loser parade at Mar-a-Lago, President Biden went savage on Donald Trump. We didn't see a former president who had just rallied the mob to attack, sitting in the private dining room off the Oval Office in the White House, watching it all on television and doing nothing for hours. And here's the truth. The former president of the United States of America has created and spread a web of lies about the 2020 election. He's done so because he values power over principle, because he sees his own interest as more important than his country's interest, than America's interest, and because his bruised ego matters more to him than our democracy or our Constitution. He can't accept he lost, even though that's what 93 United States senators, his own attorney general, his own vice president, governors and state officials in every battleground state have all said he lost. Savage. Marjorie Taylor Greene got banned from Twitter after posting more false information about the COVID-19 pandemic, including false claims that unvaccinated Americans are not being allowed into hospitals. Marjorie Dog the Bounty Hunter Greene wrote on Telegram, Twitter is an enemy to America and can't handle the truth. We don't need them and it's time to defeat our enemies. Donald Trump made a statement on Twitter and it... Oh, that's right. He can't. Why do you think Democrats are so obsessed with this day? Matt Gates has the handkerchief there because he knows he's going to have maggot tears all day long. 
What they care about is they care about drama. They care about theatrics. They only care about drama and theatrics? Trump one mask. Gas mask. Let's go Brandon dress. Soy sauce head. Licorice. And uh, apparently it stops the replication of the co coronavirus. Uh, 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 apparently it's, it's, uh, it's a, a natural of uh, the gly glyrisin or something that's in the licorice. That's very interesting. Uh, I what is with MAGA? I don't want something from a doctor. I want something from 7-Eleven. I think I've got the virus. I better get some Twizzlers. I think this is a good time to mention that I made these Let's Go Darwin mugs and they've got my MAGA Tears logo on the other side. So order one up if you want to support the show. Pope Francis has criticized couples who choose to have pets instead of children, arguing that forgoing parenthood leads to a loss of humanity. Welcome to 2022, where we're getting reproductive advice from the guy who's never been laid. I think there's no better argument against having kids than the Catholic Church's history with children. Based on the Catholic Church's track record, it's safe to say they just want more brains to wash and more kids to fiddle. The Catholic Church cares about kids as much as Joe Exotic cares about tigers. Uh, and it is an anniversary of a violent terrorist attack on the Capitol. Accurate, but he was called out by frozen food heir Tucker Carlson and Canadian Ted Cruz felt he had to say sorry. You called this a terror attack when by no definition was it a terror attack. That's a lie. You told that lie on purpose and I'm wondering why you did. Well, Tucker, thank you for having me on. When you aired your episode last night, I, I sent you a text shortly thereafter and said, listen, I'd like to go on because the way I phrased things yesterday, it, it was sloppy and, and it was frankly dumb. And, I don't and buy that. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, I don't buy that. For, look, I've known you a long time since before you went to the Senate. You were a Supreme Court contender. You take words as seriously as any man who's ever served in the Senate. And every word, you repeated that phrase. I do not believe that you used that accidentally. I just don't. It's so tough. I don't like Tucker, I don't like Cruz, but I do like watching Cruz squirm. MAGA tears. Evil administration almost done. Trump will be back soon. MAGA tears. Americans pray that Trump returns. MAGA tears. You need to be canceled, dividing America. MAGA tears. Is this lefty fruitcake supposed to be funny? MAGA tears. I give up about three minutes into this. MAGA Tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Spotify. I've played in 35 countries. I've done several theater and arena tours with Jim Jeffries. I have three albums there. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal. Also, you can support the show by checking out my merchandise. You can grab an ABD, a Stoled, or a Channel mug. They go fantastic with those MAGA Tears. If you want to have a friend roasted or congratulated, I do personal videos on Cameo. Thanks again for watching. Life's short. Have fun. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.